have a brand new playlist that we are starting today. This playlist is called Verses. So you know that there are a lot of Disneyland parks out there and a lot, a lot of rides that are very, very similar to each other in each park. So my idea was to do, for now, Disneyland versus Florida because we do have a lot of similar attractions to Florida and Florida has a lot of similar attractions to ours. So I had this idea to see which attractions lined up properly with their uh, Walt Disney World counterpart. And today we're actually gonna be discussing um, three verses today. So usually, you know, you think blank versus blank and there's usually just two, but mine range anywhere from maybe three to four out of five, but this one is gonna be three. Some have two, but this one's gonna be three. This is going to be the Disneyland Railroad versus the Walt Disney World Railroad versus the Wildlife Express train. So we are, uh, how this is gonna work is um, I read to you an article I found about each attraction and then you guys decide maybe which attraction is the better one. I personally haven't ridden most of these because I've only ever been to Disney World three times in my life. First time I was very, very young. Uh, second time I was 17 and third time was last year in 2019. However, I still haven't ridden all the rides that are listed here um, on my phone, you know, on the list to, to do the versus thing. So I will be giving my best opinion as to like what I think in terms of the rides that I've ridden but you guys make your own decisions uh, from what you've experienced. So we're gonna start with the Disneyland Railroad. Disneyland Railroad throughout the years. With the return of the Disneyland Railroad on Saturday, July 29th, 2017, guests will once again embark on the classic Grand Circle tour of Walt Disney's original Magic Kingdom. Earlier that week, they looked back at the history of the Rivers of America, also reopening July 29th, 2017. So today let's take a look at the Disneyland Railroad throughout its more than 60 year of travel. The Disneyland Railroad was one of the opening day attractions on July 17, 1955 with two steam engines in operation. Engine number one, C.K. Holiday, was named for Cyrus Kurtz Holiday, founder of the Atch Atchison and Topeka Railroad, later the Santa Fe Railroad established in 1859. The locomotive was built by WED Enterprises, now Walt Disney Imagineering, in Burbank, California. From a design inspired by Walt Disney's model train engine, the Lily Bell, centerpiece of his backyard railroad, the Carrollwood Pacific. CK's fellow opening day steam engine, number two, E.P. Ripley, was named for Edward Payson Ripley, who was the first president of the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad, and was also built by WED Enterprises. In 1958, the Disneyland Railroad expanded with its third and, in fact, oldest steam engine. Engine number three, Fred Gurley, was named after Fred G. Gurley, who was president of the Santa Fe Railway from 1944 to 1957. It is the oldest steam engine operating on the Disneyland Railroad built by Baldwin Locomotive Works in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 1894. It was first put into service in August 1895 and began curling the happiest place circling the happiest place on earth on March 28, 1958. Engine number four, Ernest S. Marsh, was added to the added the following year on July 25, 1959. It was named for Ernest S. Marsh, who was the president of the Santa Fe Railroad at the time. It was built in 1925 by Baldwin Locomotive Works in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the same company that built its fellow Disneyland Railroad engine, the Fred Gurley. Nearly 50 years would pass before the fifth steam engine would join the Disneyland Railroad. Engine number five, Ward Kimball, is unique among its fellow steam engines as it was named not for an icon of the railroad, but for an icon of the Walt Disney Company. Ward Kimball was, Disney animator, was a Disney animator and one of Walt Disney's nine old men. Among his many achievements was the creation of Jiminy Cricket. He was named a Disney legend in 1989 Ward was a railroad enthusiast whose passion for the hobby inspired Walt, Walt's own love of trains and railroading. The Ward Kimball was put into service on the Disneyland Railroad on June 25, 2005 and dedicated on February 15, 2006 as part of the celebration of the 50th anniversary of Disneyland. The Disneyland Railroad opening that week will bring new and enhanced 
adventures to this classic experience. For the very first time, the Disneyland Railroad will be making a left-hand turn as it circles Disneyland Park and Walt Disney's legendary dioramas of the Grand Canyon and Primeval World had been carefully restored to their original splendor, with a bit of new magic added to both. Next, we'll be talking about the Walt Disney World Railroad. It opened October 1st, 1971. The ride length is 20 minutes. Take a ride back in time on one of Walt Disney World's steam-powered engines. The train is now parked at the Main Street Station and not running due to the construction on the Tron Light Cycle Power Roller Coaster. Guests will be able to see the train close, up close and pose for photos. There has been no date announced as to when the train will begin running again, but the Tron Coaster is set to open in 2021. You can't miss the Main Street train station as you enter the Magic Kingdom. This scenic stop is the first spot where you'll hear all aboard before the train sets out along the rails. In addition to Main Street, the trains stop at Frontierland and Fantasyland on their 1.5 mile Grand Circle tour around the park. If you're looking for a break from the crowds as well as an easy way to get around the park, the trains are the way to go. Strollers are permitted, but they must be folded up. Strollers rented at the park are not allowed due to the size. There are four trains that make up the Walt Disney Rail World Railroad and all were originally built between 1916 and 1928. The locomotives were built were brought by were bought by the Walt Disney Company in 1969 from the Ferrocarriles Unidos de Yucatan, a railroad located in the state of Yucatan in Mexico. After Disney acquired them, each one was restored and named after a different Disney Disney legend. The four Walt Disney World Railroad trains are Walter E. Disney, Lily Bell, named after Lillian Disney, Walt's wife. Roy O. Disney, named after Walt's brother, and Roger E. Brogge, named after the Imagineer who designed the Disneyland and Walt Disney World Railroads. The Walt Disney World Railroad was an opening day attraction on October 1st, 1971, but at the time, the only stop the locomotive made was Main Street, USA. On May 1st, 1972, a second stop was opened in Frontierland. On June 18th, 1988, the third station opened in what was then Mickey's Birthday Land. This station is considered the Storybook Circus section of Frontierland. If you really a fan of Fantasyland. If you really enjoyed our your ride on the D Walt Disney World Railroad, you may be interested in the tour behind the magic of our steam train. You'll join the opening crew as they prepare the Magic Kingdom steam trains for their daily operation and visit the backstage roundhouse where these treasured transports are maintained and stored. There are no fast passes for the ride. The handicapped, handicapped accessibility is that EVC users will have to transfer to a regular wheelchair for this ride. Handheld caption devices may be used on this attraction. And finally, we will talk about the Wildlife Express Train. All about animals. Board the Wildlife Express Train for a peaceful 7-minute, 1.2-mile journey to Rafiki's Planet Watch, an area dedicated to the preservation and conservation of animals. Get a close-up look at the inner workings of Disney's Animal Kingdom Park and enjoy fascinating educational activities for all ages. Travel past animal housing and veterinary facilities for the resident rhinos, elephants, and more. After your visit to Rafiki's Planet Watch, board the Wildlife Express train for your ride back to Harambe, Africa. Rafiki's Planet Watch, accessible by Wildlife Express train. Rafiki's Planet Watch is home to delightful ex exhibits for animal aficionados. Explore affection section, a petting zoo habitat, habit, and outdoor discovery trailing, and cons conservation station, an animal care facility. So those were the three train stations that I have compared today. I do apologize if it seems like I'm kind of out of it. It's like super hot today and like, you know, we're, we're just all trying to push through this weather and all of it. But um, so I've never been on the Wildlife Express train. And I've never been on um, the Walt Disney World Railroad, not to my knowledge, but I've been on the Disneyland Railroad many, many, many times. And I really like it just mainly because of all the stops they have. You can get to each land as easily as you want to, and except for Adventureland, but that's kind of an easy transition from um, New Orleans Square to Adventureland. Um, but I also do like the diorama that you see um, after Tomorrowland, like after you exit Tomorrowland. I love seeing that diorama a lot. And ever since I did the the fun facts on it, saying that there was like a Yoda and an armadillo, I've always been on the lookout for both. 
I've found the Yoda. I just haven't found the armadillos. I don't know maybe if that fact is true or not. Or I just haven't been looking carefully. If you guys have found the armadillo, please tell me where. <laughs> I'm dying to know where it is. But other than that, what are your opinions on each three of the railroads? I'd love to know which one is your favorite. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you maybe not like? And thank you guys so much for watching. Battle skeletons. Stay safe. Love you guys.